No one in the Republic of Kenya was expecting this a quick change in Kenya Kwanza government. As they used to stress thumbs themselves that they can't now seek advice from EX President Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. I'm very much impressed now my dream in politics have been fulfilled as I used to analyze that for President William Samuel Ruto to run the government, he must seek advice from Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Zion Kenya TV. I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. Kindly consider to subscribe if you've never subscribed. Watch the video, like the video, share the channel, and give us your opinion at the comment section below. Members, I'm very much grateful for the great effort you guys you are doing. It's so marvelous, and may our good God Almighty protect you wherever you are. Facing Uhuru, after spending five years bashing his predecessor, the president and his deputy appear to have a change of a mind and are, are begging praises on a man they love to hate. What is a fool and why the change? That is standard. Have exposed the deputy and the president. Why do you think there is a quick move? In politics between President William Samuel Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa. And this is only coming after the demos have gone silent. <laughs> All the plans they had plotted to do for Kenyans or to deliver for Kenyans have been plotted, yet they are only paying a visit in each and every county with an aim of campaigning and as they are doing this they are trying to face Uhuru Kenyatta Uhuru himself is silent dealing with Congo Brazzaville war and uh, across the world so I want us to look on this total distress in Kenya Kwanza that is what we want to check on that why do you think these people are now begging Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. One, they have been defeated to deliver their promises to Kenyans during campaigns. Number two, they have since they have failed and for them to succeed, they have to get some skills from ex-president Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. Then I ask myself this question after reading the standard. Why are they now looking for Uhuru? It's because maybe Uhuru have got more experience. And actually he have more experience than Kenya Kwanza. And I'm very much impressed that, as I used to say, if you follow me, that these people must look for Uhuru. I was singing this in each and every video I upload. Then number four, Battle for the control of Central Kenya is also a problem. And uh, this is a problem where we are seeing now. The deputy president wants to be a kingpin. And who is the one now controlling the Central Kenya? I can view it as that they are also finding a strategic movement for 2027. In that God willing, if Uhuru will endorse Rigadi Gashagwa, then all votes in central Kenya will be delivered to President William Samuel Ruto. As I said, that this split between Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa is just political buying of time. Why am I saying this? They are trying to confuse the people of Azimio. You should know that. That is what also Uhuru did to William Samoy Ruto. Politicians are always the same. As I used to sing, and I'm still singing it, singing it now, 
that William Samuel Ruto that you see today is William Samuel Ruto that you see you saw in 2022 so you should bear that in mind again when I look at this why these people are looking for Uru that Kibaki and Uru decided to face East and do business with China and Asian Scout but they have di diversified this and they are now using the US and the other continent so that might also be a, a stress to President William Samuel Ruto that is why he is now seeking for Uhuru Megai Kenyatta and in that standard I've just displayed to you on the screen we are seeing Ruto is there responding Uhuru, uh, Uhuru is there and also Rigadi Gashagwa is responding but Uhuru is silent the question is is Uhuru going to allow them himself to have a talk with them uh, I don't want to discourage you on that because Kenya is a democratic country everyone is allowed to have a freedom of speech so I don't see if it is a big deal Ruto can seek advice from Uru he can as well seek advice from former Prime Minister so for them to make our country to be in a better situation again I can see this as a, a recall of what Uru said that Usione Simba Menyeshewa Ukadhani Nipaka so Uru meant a lot on saying that word or that speech. So as they are facing advice now, it means the ground is so hostile for them. And Kenyans have realized they have been betrayed. And for them to return back to Kenyans, they must have a, a good program and they must humble themselves. So that is a way forward we are seeing these people are now trying to bash the the ex president and also a way of enticing kenyans for the kenyans also to see that now they have seek advice from uru it is now very clear that these people are serious and they want to work for for us Let's vote for them in 2027. So I think it is all about political movement, ladies and gentlemen. This is raising eyebrows from many politicians. And I don't think if Ouru is going to allow this, because they really, really did wrong to Ouru. We can recall, they even uh, tried to threaten the mother, the son, not only Uru, other politicians from opposi opposition. So, ndiyo mana huwa nasema, tafadhali, huwa tuja, tu, tu anayeshima, hata kama tumebarikiwa. We have to humble ourselves, that we should know that anything in life is not permanent. It is just buying of time, and that is what Kenya Kwanza lack. But now I'm seeing changes on what is now happening now. And I believe so that Ouru might meet them and they have a discussion to run the economy. As yesterday I said, 213.2 billion debts is now in Kenyans <laughs> uh, having Kenya, Kenya Kwanza administration. And I ask you very well that this debt is huge. Is it only for Kenya Kwanza or for Huru Megai Kenyatta? Very tricky ladies and gentlemen. What can you say on this President William Samuel Ruto and his deputy facing Uhuru Kenyatta now? <laughs> I don't believe if this is Ruto. Because even yesterday I was seeing him congratulating Uhuru for the shipyard he launched in Kisumu and some people were reacting I don't want to read the comment that he should avoid launching Uhuru project so you see Ningumu hey Inamramba Vizuri he should seek advice yes he should seek advice and I'm very much happy 
they are now listening to my advices. I used to tell them, some people are saying, oh, these people know how to work. Wapi, wapi, and now see what is happening. And for them to run the economy, and I'm still repeating, they must humble themselves, they must stop overtaxing Kenyans, they must stop borrowing, they must concentrate, they must stop uh, traveling uh, too much. After ma one month, Unaskia deputy, 10 visit, uh, prime cabinet, 10 visit, and also they, they should stop creating more offices in their administration then Ruto will automatically make our country to be on a good side or a safer side. I might not be perfect enough. What are your conclusions, ladies and gentlemen? I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. Meanwhile, that is what I had to share with you at this moment. I'm very much impressed. May our good God bless you so, so much as we hope to meet on another analysis. My name is Charles and I want to wish you a very peaceful afternoon and a blessed evening. Bye-bye.